okay, let's make a loop. Um, I'm going to try not to make this take too long, um, but I am kind of slow still with Lupe. But one thing that I did recently, I did a little bit of setup before this that needs to be explained. Um, I have two games that I'm going to switch back and forth between 52 and 53. Um, 52 is kind of, I'm thinking of it like my bass recording game. So pretty much everything on here is going to be the way that it's labeled. And it's all beat um, synced. So uh, it just makes it easier for getting to the guitar. So I'm going to record mostly in this game. And then when I want to do any processing or whatever, I'll flip over to game 53, which has some different stuff, which we can't really read. Um, we'll get to that, I guess. Different reverse and octave downs and things like that. Um, and the cool thing is that you can flip back and forth between the two, um, which, for example, a useful thing, like when I go over to game 53, I don't have an undo. I have this assigned to, assigned to another read effects. Um, so if I do something and I don't like it, I can always go back over to game 52 and undo. Uh, so that's nice, and it's pretty seamless. Um, so we're going to just build a loop up. Hopefully it sounds decent. And uh, oh, the other thing that I should mention is that I'm using the Matrice to pan. So right now I've got these equal, so I should be center. Uh, and then if I turn the left down, I'll be in the right. And then turn the right down and I'll be in the left. So I'll do that to kind of build some stuff up. So we're going we're gonna to be in the key of A. And uh, I guess we'll go. First thing I do, uh, I'm going to turn the click back on. I'll have a click in my ear. Um, and I'll just record some silence just to get a count uh, that I can overdub over. So we'll do four bars or so. Two. You can see the numbers going up there. And again, this is all beat synced, so you'll see it. Click back over there. And we'll find a little something here. got something in there. Let's start to build out some stuff on the outside. Probably something a little bit higher.
So now maybe we'll do something a little more consistent. It's all right. Quantized. 
quantized, but they're quantized to this divider instead of to the bar. So I can kind of punch in and out a little bit more. I think I also have them set to, uh, instead of set to toggle, they're set to sustain. So they're only on when I press them. So like this is a, this side is octave down. I believe I have octave down and octave down reverse. And then over here I've got octave up and octave up reverse.
So I might use this as uh, some kind of a pad or, I don't know, like an outro thing or something. Maybe run it through the cover cornice and see if something cool comes back. There's some stuff in here that I like, but it's certainly not going like, to carry a track. So there you go. There's a little loop a loop. 